Welcome to the Elective Rotation Podcast, Critical Care Pharmacy Minute. I'm Pharmacy Joe of PharmacyJoe.com. Does double anaerobic coverage ever make sense? Anaerobic pathogens are found in the mouth and the lower GI tract. Oral anaerobes are the gram-positives, peptococcus, and peptostreptococcus. Intestinal anaerobes are fusobacterium, Provotella, and more commonly, Bacteroides fragilis. Oral anaerobes are easily covered with penicillins or clindamycins. Think anything that a dentist would prescribe. Intestinal anaerobes are not as easily covered. Antibiotic coverage against Bacteroides is excellent for metronidazole, piperacillin tazobactam, and carbapenems. Resistance against these agents is generally less than 1%. I can think of only two scenarios where double anaerobic coverage is necessary. Number one, when a patient has an infection that requires anaerobic coverage and they require metronidazole for a C. diff infection. And number two, when a patient has necrotic fasciitis and clindamycin is added to reduce bacterial toxin production. To get a free PDF of my visual critical care antibiotic guide to help you easily remember spectrum of activity, go to pharmacyjoe.com slash ABX.